guys, welcome to the Andy Elliott One Percenter Podcast. We're so glad you're here. We got Brendan Whiting, a coach for Andy Elliott. We're going to tell his story. My name is Sean Pollard. I'm going to be the the host today and run this podcast with you, or we're just going to go back and forth and have a little bit of fun, but we want to introduce Brendan, the newest member to the Elliott Group, a coach, an automotive business professional beforehand. We're going to tell his story, and then we got about, I don't know, about 30 minutes of time to to share with you about our lives, trials, tribulations, how we've scaled. You know, how we've made money, how we've came from rock bottom to mountaintop. So, Brennan, go ahead and take over, man. Introduce yourself. Hell yeah. Guys, what's going on? Brennan, coach you with Andy. Started a couple months ago. Man, uh, what a journey. You know, Sean was my coach uh, when I was selling cars. Really helped me scale. Got me plugged in, man. Um, just was around the wrong people my whole life, really. That was I'm, I'm a big conditioning guy. Whoever I'm around, that's who I'm going to be like. Nowadays, I'm around these guys every day. They give me massive energy, confidence. So we don't even worry about that. But back in the day, I needed some someone to plug into to give me the confidence, give me the skill. That's what I found here, and I'm really excited to be here, man. I mean, this is, this is going to be epic. But that's a little bit on me. Finally here, man. We've been at this for yeah. some time. When do we – okay, so t- tell your backstory. Okay. You were watching YouTube. Yep. You reach out to Andy after watching free YouTube videos. That's exactly and right. And you made some money. Um, a coach reached out. M- Mike Yablos reached out to you. Yep. Okay, you guys had a conversation, and then we, you and I connected because there was something deeper you were looking for. That's so right. So go ahead and tell us your story. When you, it was March, right? It was the first time you reached out last year. March, uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's dude, two a years. long time. So you uh, trained with us for two years. You and I went mm-hmm. on a high-level journey in mindset. High level, um, guys. Got to meet your like beautiful massive. girl, Gia. Yeah. She was a, she was a very inter- uh, intricate role in you scaling and growing as a man, yeah. right? Yeah, and getting her plugged in was the next level. Okay, so why don't you just uh, take us to the beginning, man? How did it all start for you and Andy? Yeah, um, was just jumping around jobs, had no direction in life, found car sales by accident, like almost everybody. Right? Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, you know I started Pretty selling. Good. The first six months were the normal normal salesperson month. Try to figure it out on your own, get yelled at a lot, a lot of disappointment, really small paychecks. So I got I got frustrated. I almost got fired. My boss said, "Hey, if you don't sell more than five cars this month, you're gone." I just want you to know that that was December. Yeah. So I was and you're a good I looking was, kid, dude, with a great personality. For you to struggle like that, yeah. You're like, what am I doing wrong? And you're highly competitive. Yeah. I know that about highly you. competitive, but I didn't understand what selling meant. Like I didn't understand the concept. I'm a big detail guy. I need yeah. to know. I need like directions. Here's exactly what to do. That's what Andy provided for me. Gave me like clarity what I was doing on the lot. Everything started to click. So I was like in a really bad slump, and I was like, dude, I need some freaking help, man. So I just you know did what I always do. Go to YouTube, look up how to yeah. sell more cars. Bam. Andy Elliott video pops up. I watch one, I get hooked. I'm like, dude, this guy speaks to my heart. I've seen the other guys, the big names, right? The guys who used to do sales training. And uh, that stuff didn't really stick with me. I felt I, it just, it wasn't my style. I found Andy, I'm like, this is who I want to be, right? And I, I think for the first time, I identified a mentor. I understood yeah. what a mentor meant. I'm like, dude, I like the guy's pushed, energy. Be I like the fact he seems like he loves people, yeah. right? And I was like, I got I to gotta figure this out. So I watched probably 50 videos over the next couple of weeks. I sold 12 cars that month, made about five grand. Decided to get more. When something's good, you taste a little bit more of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I went all in. I just went crazy on the YouTube. Saw almost every single one of them. In March of 2021... Yeah. I put up like 27 cars, made like 12 grand, something crazy for me. Like you know, coming from where I'm from, you've never met over what at this point. Your highest, uh, yeah, you were in and out of. Grand. What kind of work did you do before? Dude, I, I, I sold shoes. I tried selling insurance. I tried a lot of sales jobs because I always wanted to be it subconsciously. Yeah. I just didn't. It never clicked. Like nothing ever clicked. Nothing ever stuck. It's it's really who I wanted to be, right? I had a vision, but it was like steam on a bathroom mirror. You're wiping it off and like. You know, everything started to click. I like that. Car sales. It seriously did. It it got it got really clear, and then uh, I just went all in, man. I reached out to Andy. I told him I was like, dude, I just had the craziest thing happen. I made twelve grand. That's like more than my family makes in a year. (laughs) So, uh, you know, and you come from enough uh, uh, rough upbringing, right? Yeah, just just drugs and just the wrong crowd. Small town, small thinking. When I made that five thousand dollar check in uh, in December, right, coming into twenty twenty one. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, man. I mean, I'm, I'm going to make, this is how I thought. This is a, this an example of what, what training does for your life. I was like, dude, I might make 40 grand this year. Like yeah. imagine how crazy that'd be. Went on to make like 150 first year, right? Yeah. But like that, that's what, where my thinking was at. But yeah, just around the wrong people. You know, people who tell me to think small, everybody says the same stuff. Dude, don't go into sales, man. There's don't a go lot into of, sales. Lot of that's a lot of small there. minded stuff you know right there. Saying? A you, lot of small minded stuff. You gotta show up and you gotta, you that, gotta right? work hard every day. It's like, yeah. dude, come on, man. <laughs> okay, so how old are you, Brennan? 29. 
23. 23. 23, yeah. 23 years old. Been with Andy for two years. Mm -hmm. And I really want to make this podcast, this episode particular, more about your story too. Because we get a lot of men and women that reach out. You talk to these people now. And when I see you talk to them and the passion you have for this young generation selling cars or in insurance and these men and women that are reaching out. When I see how fast you can move people. Yeah. It's because you've been moved, right? Would you agree with that? 1,000. You know how to move people because you've been moved. 1, you've been taken yeah. from one place to another place yeah. through the training. And when, you're, when your girlfriend really started pushing you and making you a stronger man, what yeah. was that like? What was that like for you? Dude, that was so uncomfortable. I mean, you know, you give away complete vulnerability when you share with your spouse kind of what you're going through, right? Like, we all want to be like the guy who's like, dude, I don't need people. Yeah, I, I make money. I kill it. Like I never go through struggles. But when you start to get really raw and truthful with your with your partner about who you are and they, hey man, I'm f- up. Like, or you share you share with them your big dream and you're kind of like scared. You're like, what are they gonna think about this? Well, mm-hmm. my girlfriend, she's amazing. Her name's Gia. Uh, she's been with me through this whole thing. I met her the first two weeks I was selling cars. And I was like, yeah, this is something I do. You know what I mean? I'm just trying it out. Okay. Well, she watched it become a passion for me. And when I when I introduced her to what I'm doing with the Elliot Group. She was all in, dude. She was like, oh, my God, you're like what I've been looking for my whole yeah. life. So she started to push me. Her and yeah. Sean kind of teamed up, and uh, they stayed on this my ass, true. man. I mean, you know, the mindset's so up real and quick, down. i got to take a step back. Yeah, when you say cool. G and I teamed up, yeah. what does that mean? Because they're going to be like, okay, well, what does that yeah. mean, G and you and Sean teamed up? So what was that like for you? Because you didn't know yeah. she would call me to get on you. What well, was that 1, like? A thousand percent. Well, I'll, I'll go. I'll so give walk you... them through that. Cause, so they yeah. didn't understand what we do as coaches. Yeah. Like. How does a partnership work? What yeah. do you guys mean your coaches for automotive? That's never yeah. been done. Uh, what Andy's doing in the automotive industry has never been never. ever been done in, in, in the history of time. Never. Seminars, everything that we do. So you can really break down what the automotive coach is for Andy, what Andy uh, expectation is of us yes. for our people. So yeah. when you say G and I were getting involved and she was kind of teaming, teaming yeah. up with me, what was that for you, though? Explain that because that's pretty cool. Yeah. Not, not a lot of women will buy in that level, so that's exactly. special. She's yeah. amazing. But not only that, but she was, like, relentless about it. Relentless. So tell that for, for everybody. Well, you nailed it on the head. You said, like, you said you see me moving people, and that's because I've been on the other end of the phone, like, with yeah. you, right? So to give you background, to give you timeline, like, April I, I sold – or March I had the great month. April I reached out. I bought some courses, right? I was plugged in at, at a small at – a, you know, at a low level. I was just getting started. That – those courses – just that small investment consistently made me 12 15 grand a month right Mm -hmm. it wasn't until sean reached out and that was october i believe or maybe september right i was going through it i I quit my job i moved to a different place with better culture the mindset was just mindset was trash man like it was in the dumps i was scared you know i had people telling me hey you leave this job man it's the only thing you ever got right well that's where the coach the coaching comes in like there's the training there's the skill level side and he's the trainer he's a bad trainer he has all the answers if you need to know how to make a phone call or do anything skill it's andy right but the coach and where sean taught me how to teach how to how to help my people is the mindset dude like i was i was up i was in a state i needed some reaffirmation right i needed just to be reaffirmed that everything was going to be okay i needed guidance from someone who had been in my shoes before not somebody who isn't where i want to go yeah I need a, I needed a mentor. I needed a coach, a guide, and uh, that's what he provided. So he reached out. Um, so you, I, what do you know? What I did though, right? Exactly how I played it out with you, and why I walked you that path. Because just two years earlier, I was yeah. walking that. Well, it's what two and a half years now. Yeah, I was walking that path with Andy in my recreation, and yep. that's all I did. I took what he's instilled in me. Yep. served it up to you. You and I went to war. You didn't yep. like me at times, but you always yeah. loved your paychecks, huh? Right, Coaching's yeah. not easy. I'm not supposed to be your friend. I'm supposed to get you to where you need to go exactly. as fast as possible. And that's why um, men and women leverage money. A lot of our a lot of our people they mm-hmm. have a hard time with the mediocre mindset in the automotive industry, leveraging exactly. money to going to make more money yeah. through a coaching program. But you bought all in once you saw the results. You and I went on a tear from October yeah. till you came to work for us. When dude, October to March, I freaking March destroyed it. What'd I you mean, average a month? About twenty five. 25, 25 grand, grand a month, a month and that that was consistently like, yeah and that was like and but you said consistently and that's what that's the kicker right oh there. consistently i'm you guys no you nailed it we're yeah. not talking ups and downs it was 25 to 26 yeah. grand every single month yeah. from october to march and we told you hey man well andy reached out and said i yeah. got a spot do you want to come work for us and yeah. then it was over from there we'll get that into that in a minute yeah but as far as the coaching aspect 
how do you push people now? What are some of the things that you use for your people when you reach out to them? Because you got this generation yeah. of young bucks, 19 to about 26 right now, that Dude, are just those, in love with you. Those are my people. <laughs> okay, those, those yeah, are my, explain that. Well, those are my people, and that's because I know where they're at. Like, I know, I know what it feels like. I know what the pain feels like, man. I mean, you know, a lot yeah. of these guys, they're going through a lot of pain, man. And a lot of people, Andy always says people who are lost don't realize they're lost. A lot of these guys are uh, lost, man. And they need... True some guidance a light at the end of the tunnel and that's what i that's what i needed that's what i got and i want to go back you said consistently the yeah. reason it was consistent the skill was there the mindset was like this mm -hmm. the coaching keeps the mindset steady it keeps you focused and he that's a what badass that, woman that's what we're all about i mean yeah. you know having between having an awesome awesome lady and and sean there's so much consistency you know, you talk about inner circle, and I can't think about my inner circle without the LA group, and I can't include a lot of my friends. A lot of people are the same way. I talk to these. What what makes our connection special? You said 19 to 26, is a lot of these guys. They reach out to Andy. They're hungry for more. They want a better life, but they have everyone around them calling them stupid for wanting to be better, which is the dumbest thing in the world. You're right? crazy, man. It's We're crazy. The only industry that is yeah. frowned upon for training. At yeah. any level, like a $99 membership, they're like, oh, that's stupid. What yeah. are you doing that for? But in real estate, attorneys, contractors, uh, everybody that I know outside of the automotive industry yep. that we do business with, they're like, dude, you're going to training? Like, cool, where are you going? Exactly. What event are you going to? What seminar does that look like? Oh, you're going yep. with Andy and Bradley? That was wild. And the automotive, like, that, you're an idiot. I'll train you. Dude, it's, I'll scale it's the craziest you. thing. Then you're yeah. surrounded by mediocrity. Yeah. And so you went all in, young age. What was your total investment? I want people to hear this. What is yeah. your total investment with Andy Elliott training on training and yeah. the mindset coaching? How much have you invested total? Yeah, just shy of 20 grand. I mean, you know, I, I saw a little bit of results initially. And then when I saw the coaching and what came with all that, I just went all in, man. I mean, and at this point, at this level, I mean, we're still, me and you still, all of us here, we're still investing in ourselves, right? Oh, yeah. And daily. Daily. Recreating and, every day. Yeah. And the thing Learning is. Learning something new. Yeah. And, like, we're obsessed with it. And, like, it's just, I mean, it's just, I don't see it any other way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it can't be any other way. Yeah. So, you're 23. You now work for the Elliott Group. Yeah. Tell them what that's like for you now that you're new. You're about two months in with us. Two months in, yeah. Okay. You walked away from a significant income to come work for us. Because working yeah. for us in the beginning, you will not make what you make out of the gate in automotive. That's exactly right, yeah. You made that decision. You moved from where? Illinois. From Illinois. Illinois. You're here yeah. in Scottsdale, Arizona with us. Yeah. G is here. She pushes yeah. you nonstop. She's relentless. Non -stop. Relentless. What's your last two months been like with Andy? And tell the people what it's like on in the inner circle. Now that you know us from the outside, what is it like on the inside of the Elliott Group? Yeah, well, that's the coolest part. Like, everything I expected to get, I got and more, right? So being plugged in every day, it's awesome learning from Andy, no, dude. It's great being around this energy. And we don't have to fake it. We live it every single day, right? So, yeah. you know, just what I got was when I, when I was on the other side, I was coming out to seminars every month. Every time I, I went back home, I was rejuvenated. I came out probably for, what, six months straight? Yep. Just freaking coming out training because i needed it and gio's with you every time gio came with me every time i tell all my 19 26 year old crew i'm like dude if you have a girlfriend a wife anything bring them with you you don't want to be going to the next level and then yeah it's serious you want them on that journey and yeah. now what i mean about gio here's the here's the cool thing yeah for four months uh brendan had no idea that gio would text me yeah. and call me say hey man he's not right yeah i'd wait about a half a day or a day and then i call him i'm like hey man checking in what's going on what are you doing where are yeah. you at where's your head at right now he's like bro this is so crazy. I needed this call right now. You're yeah. like, bro, this is weird. And finally, G is like, dude, I tell Sean when you're – because you yeah. your ego and your pride, yeah. you, you'd son of a dude. Yeah. You wouldn't reach out when you needed me. You'd reach exactly. out two weeks after, like, you started backsliding yeah. into your old ways. And then we had to re-piece that together. And G is like, okay, well, I'm not going to allow that to happen anymore. We're stopping yeah. that. So she would immediately, day one or day two, she saw it. She'd yeah. reach out. we get you plugged back in. And then that habit became your ritual became the ritual. We talk about rituals in the morning and, and throughout your day and then your systems and processes yeah. how how efficient do you believe you run now one being through our coaching program and now here in the elliott group what's your what's your day look like now from the time you get up to the end of the day i want you to explain that to your automotive people because you ran like that in the automotive industry that's yeah. how you scaled and mm -hmm. now you're the first month you're here you broke my record danny's record the macklin's record your first month yeah. um why do you think that is as well so maybe tell us about your rituals and your your day yeah and then why do you think you had so much success with us right out of the gate uh as far as like a ritual it pretty much stays the same like guys in the car business 
it's freaking tough, man. You got to get your mindset right. Like, yeah. and you know, there's going to be a lot of shit and like you can expect to eat a sandwich every day you go into work. So every day the there's cool, going to be, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be something. Yeah. I mean, and even, even out here, the reason that, that we're always in a great mood, always having the best day of our life is because we, we prepare for it. We're prepared for Do you think people war. think that's real about us? What? We have the best day every, every day of our life. I like to think so. I mean, I, I you, feel like most that way. Yeah. Is, is it true for them to do the same? Well, we do because we know what yeah. we know why our brand yeah. is attracted to the negativity and we've been able to build as a culture in the yeah. company to steer away from that. Yeah. Can that be instilled as a one-on-one person? Let's say they're a loner at the dealership. They're going to become the one percenter. Yes. Can they run like that alone without culture? If they're the lone wolf at the, or the so lone lion at the few, dealership. Yeah. Very few people can, but most like everyone shouldn't like, if you have a group like this, you can reach out like, like I, I think about it like this, like me and you being connected on the phone was like a freaking plug, right? And like us staying plugged in together is what kept me going, what yeah. kept me motivated. How, that, that's what I say about the consistency. I could not have done average what I average without a coach. If I was just training, I could not have done it. There's no way because it's that it's that mindset, it's that it's that level. Yeah. Uh, but for rituals, man, working out you know, b- being grateful is number one in the entire world. Like, I don't care if you're having the best month of your life or you're having the worst day of your entire life. You should always be grateful, right? It gives Absolutely. you a clear perspective, right? How do you stay in gratitude? Uh, just, I mean, you know, just thinking about everything that you've been through, thinking about every, all the people you have around you that truly really care about you. I mean, you know, I'm blessed now being here that we have a ton of people. Like, our, our circle is so strong. It's crazy. But what we're trying to do is bring you guys into this because we want you to know that you're not alone out there, right? Like, yeah. it, everybody says training stupid. We're 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 taking over the world, and we're trying to bring it's you guys. It's a lifestyle. On this. Yeah, and we're trying to bring you guys lifestyle. on this journey. And the reason that yeah. we do these and we open up is because when you see what we came from, that we're not that different, right? Yeah. Like, there's no difference in between us. And as far as just starting off on on the right track here, it's this passion and it's this truly understanding what you did to me as a coach and being able to apply that to other people trying to figure out every day like what like not thinking what what do i need to get what do i need to make what do i need to do thinking about what did these guys need man what did they what did i need to be told when i was going through this and that right there will set you free so do you believe that you serving people at the highest level is your reward is that is that part of your gratitude dude that's my reward that's like I've become obsessed with it. Did you show me your text messages? It feels good, huh? Getting these text messages. Dude, about it feels great. Hey, good. Brandon, you changed my life. Brandon, I made more yeah. money. Brandon, I just, I'm not getting kicked out of my house. Brandon, I just got my car out of a repo. Dude. Oh, my Brandon, Bro. with Andy's training and you being mm-hmm. there, dude. I mean, does that fuel you as much as it fuels me? Because it's my, Bro. it's my life. Man. It fucking get, makes like gives me a high, and it also like makes me really emotional because I remember what it felt like. I mean, I was facing my car going back. I was facing a broken like life back home, right? And this, the car business changed everything for me. And like when I saw what I had in front of me, like I truly grasped that, hey, if you get skilled, you can turn decades into days. I don't care where you come from. Yeah. If you don't like where you're at, Fix change, it. man. That's get it. better. That's it, dude. And That's like it. when I realized that, my life was set free. I was like, dude, this is who I'm going to become. I moved. Like me and Gia, like we can't even believe our lives. We wake up and we're like, how the f*** did this even happen, man? Like, you know, a year, a year into the car business – we both got new cars, both got a new house, but that's not that's not the point. The point is we're creating a life that we want for our kids that we didn't have growing up. And like you can do the same thing. You, you can't see you, it. You yeah. visualize who you're going to become because yeah. I hired you for your potential. When I saw you and Andy made the decision, and Jacqueline signed off on your hire, yeah, I was like yes, here we go. Because I knew who you were going to become in three years. The guy you, the guy we want, Andy wants and envisions is three years out. Cause you have to evolve. Yeah. You have to go through the process of the maturing. You're young. And what do we talk about? Eliminating the mistakes, yeah. eliminating poor decisions, eliminating that learning curve that we're going to help you put, well, you know, put you through, but yeah. helping you grow and evolve. Cause the potential you have that we see, that's what we're after. So what keeps you going? Like if you were to tell somebody, okay, you're in automotive right now, and let's say you have a vision to work for the Elliott Group. Go be yeah. a GM. Be an owner. What's the one piece of advice you could give to these these guys, these men? I call them kids sometimes, but yeah. you know my, my oldest is 25. So um, these 19 to 26 year olds that are, I mean, dude, you got some people and a couple hundred of them now that are just like this. I call them, yeah. check in. They're like, dude, I'm cool, Sean. Love you, bro. I talked to Brendan. Take it easy. Yeah. So you built that. That is powerful. 
great job. Yeah, Don't ever you. walk away from that. Appreciate What's that, that one piece of advice you would give to those people that are looking at you right now? Should I call him? Yeah. Should I call him? What's that one piece of advice you'd give them? I if mean, they're not going to call and they're scared. Let's say that. What piece of advice could you give them right now to get them going in the right direction? Dude, I mean, hell, just take a chance, man. Take a chance. <laughs> I mean, well, it. I was, well, that is it. I was, trying, I was trying to decide, like, if you were going to ask me, like, like people who are going to be, want to be a GM or want to work for us or want to do something f- cool, that would be just keep the chip on your shoulder. Never forget where you came from. Because, like, every day I'm thinking, like, oh, the biggest the biggest cancer in the entire world for people who want to be highly successful is thinking that they've made it. Right? Boom. That because is a I'm fact. happy. That's everything. I'm happy. I'm fulfilled. Me and Gia have the best life in the world working yeah. here, right? But there's so many more levels. And what keeps you going at, at this stage is not money. If you focus on the money, you're done because you have the money. You have no worries, right? But you focus on reaching more people, changing more lives because yeah. there's always more to be done. There's still a lot of a lot of people who need our need our help out there. Oh, yeah. So just keeping the chip on your shoulder. And by the way, I didn't I didn't plan to work here. I'm so glad I'm here, right? But I didn't plan on it. I didn't know it was going to happen. So, like, my plan was to get into management because I wanted to change lives. Because I was at a seminar, and he told me how great it was when he became a manager and he trained guys and helped them change their lives. That's all I've ever wanted to do is help people change their lives. Because as much as yeah. I like to think back on my story and it makes me cry, it makes me emotional, how me and Gio went from, you know, two grand a month behind on bills to where we're at now. What inspires me more is when one of you guys reach out, you call me, or you take a chance with me just because you're like, dude, you know, you seem so convinced. I'm going to try it out. Yeah. Three months later, we talk on the phone, and you're like, dude, I mean, like, my life will never be the same. That drives me right there. That's what that's what keeps me up at night, right? Yep. I, want, I want to help that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know what it's like. Like, I, I always thought I was, like, weird, dude. I, I was like, I was like, I want to be the best. I want to do crazy stuff. But I was always weird because I was 1% and 99%. And everybody around you saying, hey, don't worry about it. Let's go have a beer. Yeah. Why don't you take the night off? We'll see you at the, at the bar. Go into the bar after work to yeah. decompress when that's not real. We've proven that's not real. You yeah. don't go to the bar to decompress. Go home. Go to the gym. Take care of your, your, your responsibilities as a yeah. man. Take care of Gia. Don't leave her hanging after a 13, 14 hour day. Exactly. Skill set, closing, negotiations. You became lethal on all that. Money goes way through the roof. And then I'm paying a picture for you to have a better life the same picture andy just painted for me two and a half years ago yeah when he hired me off rock bottom because he saw potential and do you know why andy decided to hire you and talk with jacqueline about bringing you aboard no i actually don't know <laughs> because every time we met you at a seminar mm-hmm. every time after the first one you talked about how you're going to take andy's training and infiltrate a dealership and change the culture and change the way people think and you're going to do it for them you're going to make them better you're going to see the better life you're going to paint this picture of how it can be done from what it. you learned you kept saying that month in and month out and it just started clicking and andy was like dude that's our guy that's I love the it. next guy he keeps talking this way, man. He's speaking yeah. our language. He's bought into our culture. He's invested at a high level. Yeah. That's the type of people that we look for, man, when we um, when we go to hire one of you, As you know, we need 20 people right now. Yeah. We don't do that. We don't hire to the masses. Mm-hmm. We hire to the individuals that are brought into our culture, and yeah. we select them. So, dude, it's a f- honor having you, man. I'm glad you're here. Hell yeah, man. And, I'm glad uh, to push here. people to the next level. Moving forward, where do you see yourself in two years? Dude, just continuing to grow and scale. I mean, I would – me and Gia both would die for this company. I mean, that's how strongly we feel about it. Because that. we uh, we came out in October, and I, I want to say something. I remember you you know you talk about the transition from just buying courses to really being plugged in with the coach at a high level. It's a whole different ballgame. The it's a whole different mindset. Yeah, it's the, a shift. It's a dude, state shift, dude. Too. Yes, and it's a just a completely new person. Like I remember when I bought the courses, I was still like I said, I was making twelve, fifteen grand a month. I was doing good. Right? Yeah. But I was still not happy. I was not fulfilled because I was still hanging out with the same friends. I was just more skilled. Like, my mindset was the same place. I didn't completely recreate yet. Yeah. H- having a coach helped me completely recreate. Then I cut off all my bad friends. Me and Gia's life got better. We started to sit down and really figure out what's our dream life. What are we going to do? What are we truly after in this world? And that's when everything pops. Like, I mean, you know, September, October, November, yeah. first seminar – Real tears, real crying, raw, just feeling like never something I've never felt before. Went back home and never made less than twenty grand after that. And it's not about the money; it's about the fact that I felt like I deserved it for the first time in my life. Yeah. And a lot of people out there, I feel like the number one culprit is you'll never out earn your own self worth. I feel like a lot of people struggle with self worth. Well, when you get plugged in at a high level and you see a guy just like you who's doing this, you're like, dude, I can do it. 
know yeah. what I mean? Like, and you can reach out to here. Brennan right now. Reach out to me, yeah. You can reach out to him. Uh, give them your cell phone number. Is that okay, okay if we do that? Can we do that? Give them your cell phone number right now. Six, your personal yeah. cell phone number. They can reach out to you. Listen, 19 to 26, it doesn't matter. You can yeah. reach out to Brendan. He's done it at a, the highest level. But that 19 to 26 group of men and women that you're working with, they're becoming a powerful bunch. Uh, yeah. What's your cell phone? 618-305-4070. Okay, that's Brendan's cell phone. Watch yeah. it back if you didn't get it. Yeah. You can text him. Tell you watch the podcast. You know, get in with him. Plug in with uh, Brendan. I watch Brendan. I put you through the grind right now, don't I? The grind. I make sure he's in the gym. <laughs> he's treating his woman right. He's showing yeah. up to work. He has a vision. He has something that he wants. I, we're a lot alike, except for 20 years apart. Yeah. And we're very driven. I've been with my wife for 24 years. I see how passionate you are with Gia. It absolutely um, moves me to see it because a lot of guys your age are just like, oh, I got a girlfriend. You are really yeah. highly in love with this woman. It's powerful yeah. to see this. So as we grow in scale and keep pushing the needle, do you think your relationship and the strength with her contributes to your success? One thousand percent, man. Thousand I mean, percent. Yeah, it's like, everything. Because now you have a lifestyle. You yes. have multi-dimensional. You got money, yep. your relationship, your health, your wealth, your mindset, right? And all that is clicking at the highest level. Yeah, that is a lifestyle of a multi-dimensional man. Would you agree? One thousand percent. Keep crushing it, right? Yeah, and there, <clears> there's there's like they all have to be in alignment. Like, you know, there was times before getting plugged in that I was thinking about, you know cutting off cutting it off with Gia right like we're just thinking about ending things because we would fight a lot man and it's a young relationship and it's stressful and I'm working 80 hours a week before I'm like really plugging in a high level going down to 40 right you know what I'm saying that's the whole point you you work hard for your money you leave your family and when you say the 40 you drop from 80 to 40 I'm gonna hold on to this you drop from 80 to 40 because your skill acquisition increased skill acquisition and mindset and work habits which is mindset work ethic skill acquisition mindset it took you down to less hours and more money because yeah. you were skilled. You knew exactly how to run a car deal, how to close a car deal, and just that's, run an optimal. That's and the just kicker. Optimize yeah. everything. And, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, yeah. dude, like when I, like I talk about the six months before and you know making twelve fifteen in that range, dude, that was grinding. That was like waking <laughs> up, getting to the dealership at seven thirty, making cold calls, talking to people in service at eleven p.m. at night, literally like six days a week thank god there's sundays off in illinois yeah uh driving to go sign a deal at 11 p.m at night to like bfe somewhere like i don't even know where i'm at right like 40 miles GPS away from the store yeah. yeah and like that kind of stuff to fast forward in those six months that we're talking about i mean march was my last month and it was my best month i made 30 plus right that month I probably worked 40 hours a week. I came to a seminar that month and I actually missed my flight talking to Andy about working here. So I I was gone for a whole week. So I probably worked 18 days that month, which is the lowest I've ever worked. And I was showing up at 10 and I was leaving at six. (laughs) Those aren't the habits you instill in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But you yeah. have to understand, I watched him log into the platform and the hours that yeah. he would do. I've tested him on word tracks, closing, delivering the pencil, yeah. the walk around, all the things that you've um, gained in skill, uh, skill acquisition. Andy always says it's not a lack of uh, money that you have a problem with. It's a lack of skill. You exactly. fix your skill, you fix your money. Yeah. And like and you did that at a really high level. Yes. And the thing is, like when I say 10 to 6, I don't mean I got lazy. What I mean is from 7 to 10, I was training. Yeah. And when I went in at 10, I was on fire. And yeah. I would dial for two hours and set up the rest of my six hours. You know, that's three That's three car deals a day. And you were crushing it, man. And, that, and that's it, man. It's just working harder on yourself than you work on your job. I absolutely love you know it. Saying? Well, my brother, I'm proud of you. Thank it's you. It's an honor being with you. Drop him your number one more time. Reach out to Brendan if you have yeah. any questions. How he scaled, how he built his, his little empire. Welcome to the LA Group, my brother. I'm glad you're here. My brothers and sisters, we're glad you're here. Brennan, drop them your number, and we'll get out of here. 618-305-4070. All right, you guys have yeah. a great day. Crush it. If you need anything, reach out to my man here. Take Let's care, go, baby. See ya. Thank you, guys. Later. Love you.